the Jersey Shore during the spring, you may have seen these guys. These guys lined up on the beach. Horseshoe crabs are some of the oldest creatures in the world, but now they could play a vital role in developing a coronavirus vaccine. Action News reporter Walter Perez is live in the Satellite Center with the details. And Walter, I've seen some on the beach even lately. Everyone has if you've been to the shore. It's right, Sarah. This story reads like something out of a sci-fi movie, especially when you consider the only thing the drug companies need from the horseshoe crabs is their blood. Bet you didn't know that the waters off the southern tip of New Jersey are the horseshoe crab capital of the world. And it turns out these creepy looking critters that have been around some 450 million years are in high demand from pharmaceutical companies. It turns out their blood is hypersensitive to dangerous bacteria that can develop in injectable medicines and vaccines. So now these prehistoric creatures are playing a key role in a massive inoculation campaign involving several drug companies racing to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. But David Wheeler, executive director of the Conserve Wildlife Foundation says, since the horseshoe crab is a protected species, pharmaceutical companies are only allowed to collect the crabs and extract their blood. Certain numbers that are allowed, uh, there's a certain percentage of blood that's able to take basically about a third of, uh, and then they're supposed to be re uh, returned to the environment. Uh, our concern is that there's never been any real transparency. Now, pharmaceutical officials estimate 3 to 5 percent of the crabs die in the process. Environmental experts estimate it's more like 15 percent. The reason it matters is not just the risk to the horseshoe crab population, but also the threat to migratory birds that depend on the crab's eggs in the Delaware Bay as food as they travel round trip between the Arctic and South America. And Dr. Larry Niles, a wildlife sure biologist, says a synthetic alternative to horseshoe crab blood called recombinant factor C, or RFC for short, is already being used by big pharma in Europe. For some reason, the U.S. pharmacopoeia has basically placed so much restriction on RFC that it's going to take years for it to be approved. Now, to be clear, Niles and Wheeler are not against the use of horseshoe crab blood in the quest for a COVID vaccine. They simply want drug companies to offer proof that it's being done safely and responsibly. Reporting live from the Satellite Center, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Who Sarah? knew? Well